And then comes the sixth and the most tragic one, the Day of Atonement. The Bible says in Leviticus 23, Also on the tenth day of the seventh month shall be a day of atonement. You shall afflict your souls. What is to afflict your soul? Is to really understand that you are helpless. You can't do anything. You can't save yourself. See, the Jewish people translate it to fasting. Well, the Bible wants to tell you that you should fast. The Bible tells you fast. But we don't hear fasting here. It's afflicting your souls. Interestingly enough, Zechariah tells us that the day is going to come when Jesus will come back and they will look on me whom they pierce. Yea, yes, they will mourn for him as one mourns for his only son. When the Jewish people will see Christ Jesus returning in the clouds, coming with his feet, standing on Mount of Olives, riding on his right horse with us coming with him. Amen? Hello? Then... Those who are the remnant of the great tribulation, the last third, according to Zechariah 13, they will look upon him and they will mourn and they will cry and they will repent and they will be saved. And that's what Romans 11 says, and all Israel will be saved.